Hey guys, it's Emily from Planned and Planted here with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me video in my reading journal. We're going to be making a book review spread of Honey and Spice by Bolu Babalola. I like making these more uh, kind of creative spreads for fiction books I read because it helps me remember them a lot better. So I've recently started doing this thing where I make a mood board on Pinterest for the fiction books that I read. I just kind of go through and find pictures that feel like the book to me and I add them to a board. And then I copy and paste a few of the pictures into a Word document and I cut them out for these review spreads. And I also copy and paste a photo of the book cover um, that you can see I'm about to put in here right now. So now that we have the book cover pasted in here, I am just lettering the title of the book. And this is actually one of my favorite parts of doing these review spreads because I try to mimic the lettering based off the book cover. It doesn't always come out super great, but it's a really fun exercise in trying different letter styles. And it's just really fun and I always love how they come out, even if they're not always totally perfect. And now I'm just writing in some of the information that I like to keep track of on here, like the dates read, format, how many pages, when it was published, and the publisher as well as the genre. Then I have these little five star stickers from Alicia Marksit that I put in here and I co color in the star based off the rating that I have for the book. This one was four stars. Next thing I'm doing is taking some of the photos that I printed out and cut and I'm just kind of trying to rearrange them on the spread to kind of figure out where I want them to go. And I really tried not to speed through this process because I really wanted to see you guys to see just what the creative process is like. I don't have a good idea of what these will look like when I go into them a lot of the time. So it's definitely an exercise in stretching my creative muscles. Uh, now I'm trying to clip the corners off and my corner clipper was giving me some trouble. You'll notice I also sometimes just kind of clip parts of the photos out to make them fit a little bit better. But I think right here I kind of finally have how I want things to look. So I'm putting down some washi tape right before I paste in the photos. Actually, before I pasted in the photos, I got kind of distracted by these color dots that I have because this spread is really colorful. There's a lot of like red and orange and pink tones. So I wanted to add some color dots because I just really like how those always end up looking. And just don't ask me why I put those in, in like before I pasted the other photos. I just got distracted. And that happens sometimes when you're planning and you just gotta go with it. As you can see, we are back on track now. I got the photos pasted in. And then I'm taking some more washi and taping it on the tops of the photos to make it look like they're kind of taped in, even though they're obviously glued in. Now I'm taking some craft paper from my Archer and Olive notepad and I'm cutting it out so I can letter a quote onto here. I always include one of my favorite quotes from the book when I am making these spreads. So that's what's gonna go on here. Then I'm pulling out my Kindle to pull up the quote that I'm gonna letter and then I am just laying down the letters in pencil so I can get a rough idea of where everything goes and space it out before I go in with my pen and my art and all of calligraph to highlight some of the words. Lettering quotes from the books that I'm reading always ends up being one of my favorite part of making these spreads because I, well first off I just love lettering but also I feel like a quote is such a good way to get to know a book or remember a book and so whenever I'm reading I always kind of try to highlight quotes that catch my eye and so that I can put them down in my spread afterward. This particular quote says, I didn't think horoscopes were my thing, but his eyes really looked like stars and I suddenly wanted to be an astrologer to learn how to read them as they flashed at me. And I just... <sighs> swoon like that's such a that's such a cute quote <laughs> now that i have the quote lettered i am erasing the pencil marks below and then i am just going to go ahead and paste this in and make it fit in with those color blocks that i have in here as well at this point i remember that i have some washi tape that has some stars and moon on them and i put that above the quote because it just kind of goes with the quote a little bit and then i decided i want to add some stickers I have these stickers from Taylor Ryan Design and I really wanted to put this particular sticker in so I'm trying to figure out where to put it and it just, it doesn't work. It, 
you see again I try to put it in and I just cannot find a, a place for it but I do find a place for some of the other stickers that I have there I go again and it just doesn't work out but I do find these little constellation stickers that I put next to the quote because again stars astrology it just kind of fits then I'm going back in with a few more stickers um, that I added in some of the blank space next to the title on this page After those stickers, I feel pretty happy with the rest of the spread, so I'm going in to add my actual review. This part says, Dear White People Meets Gossip Girl, because that's just all I could think about when reading this book, is how similar it was to both of these other pieces of media. Then I'm just kind of adding some decorative elements around it to make it look a little, a little prettier. I also really felt the need to notate that this book, Honey and Spice, uses the word pastiche several times. And there's actually a magazine in Dear White People called Pastiche, and I just could not get over that coincidence. This photo up here is also a screenshot from Dear White People, and it is exactly Kiki Yola and Amina's relationship, so I had to write that down as well. I'm just going in and writing the bulk of the rest of my review. Um, I actually really did enjoy this book. The writing did feel a little gratuitous at times, but I still really liked it and thought it was a good little romance book. So here's what the final spread looks like at the end, and I was pretty happy with how it came out. Hopefully this gives you guys a little bit more insight into my creative process, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more.